My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. In video game, what is difficult is to um, to see uh, what will be the project in the future and to, to feel that there is something great. And so when you see everything coming together, like the, the mood, the, the cinematic and everything, you have to be very confident. And I think uh, the team now is doing something great and I think the final result is there. The animation, everything is coming now. I'm very proud of what they have made. Hi, my name is Jean-Max Morris and I'm one of the co-founders of Don't Not Entertainment. Dontnod has now been going a full six years and a half. We founded it in um, June 2008. Uh, did our first game, Remember Me, which came out in June 2013, uh, last year. And we've been uh, working on Life is Strange since April uh, 2013. So that's our second baby and uh, we're extremely proud of seeing it come out. Hi, my name is Michel Cor. I'm co-game director and art director. Hi, my name is Raoul Barbet. I'm a co-game director of Life is Strange. In Life is Strange, um, you're playing as Max, as a, as, a, as a teenager who just came back to, to her hometown of Arcadia Bay after being away for five years, and you, you're getting back to know again your, your old, older best friend, Chloe. But you, you discover that Chloe has really changed, she's really, really a different person, and one reason of this change is that one, one of her friends, Rachel Amber, just got missing a, a few months ago. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. This is really an important part of the story that will tie again together Max and Chloe as they will team up to investigate on, on, on the disappearance of, of Rachel Amber. And the player and Max will discover that there is much more about this disappearance and it will evolve in the story and be quite a, a strong narrative um, thread during the, the span of the, of the five episodes. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel. We've always had this ambition of doing things different. We want to do things that we love, and these things just happen to be different from, let's say, mainstream games. A few years ago, we have uh, work on Remember Me, and so there was a huge concept. It was called the Memory Remix. And we were thinking that there's something to be done, and there was lots of discussion between us on how it could be so cool if there is a game with rewind feature when you can do it whenever you want. We saw that this mechanism, mechanism of going back in time could be really interesting to, to use it on a, on a whole game, and we were really fan of adventure games, and we saw that having an a heavy narrative game with this mechanism of going back in time could be really interesting. Whoa! We wanted to, to let the player having those choices to make. All those choices and actions, uh, or even uh, dialogue choices, could have small consequences or bigger ones. Having this power will bring the story to I think another layer and will really give something strong to this story. This is the era in your, in your life where you're making all the choices that are going to define yourself as a human being. Of course, when you make a choice, you will have maybe you, you think good consequences. Two days after, maybe it will have very bad consequences. What's in, interesting in Life is Strange and what differentiates us is we are dealing with choices that the player could have been in the position to, to make. The scope of those choices will, will ramp up in, during the game and we, we have those butterfly effect consequences which will grow darker and darker, but really it's, it's a matter of putting the player in a position to make choices that could, could matter. Hi, I'm Luc Begadus, the producer. We have a lot of challenges in this game. First, it's an episodic game. It's the first for us, it's the first for Square Enix. It seems like uh, an easy idea because you have this small part of the game, but in fact, it's, it's quite complex because a lot of stuff needs to be ready when you release the first episode because you will be able to add content, but not adding a lot of features. Everyone has to work in parallel on different tasks and it can be uh, complicated to, to manage.
we knew from, from the beginning that, that we wanted this game to be episodic, like a TV show. So we really started to write this as a, as a series of, of, of events and of, of, of key moments. We, we, we are not just writing the story and, and apply it to, to the game. We have to think about all the gameplay. This is really something we grew together. So the core team was working on the story and the gameplay and the idea of the rewind mechanism. So this is really something we, we begin all together and we grow the story as we grow also the gameplay mechanics. The feel just, you know, came about uh, by itself. You know, we're big fans of of independent movies, uh, Sundance or Tribeca, or you know, we, we like those movies. We just looked at those, and we, you know, we didn't go to them as direct inspiration, but they're definitely in the background, and I think that shows uh, a lot uh, in the game. I think really the, the word nostalgia was one of the of the first keywords we we put when we created the game. Our game is about time with the rewind. We are dealing about a, a coming of age story, and really there is always this this fight between the present and the past with those subjects. In the high school, we have the teenagers who have, who have, their, they have their, their smartphones, they are always posting everything on social media or taking pictures with their smartphones. And on the other hand, we, have, we also have characters who are more nostalgic, and Max, the main character, is one of those characters. She's got an unwritten diary. Yes, she, she, she likes to, to, yes, to, to, to take notes. And, and Chloe, um, her, her best friend, still in living sometimes in the past with, with stuff she got from, from, from her parents. And it's important for our game to blend those, those two different worlds and to, to show the contrast and the, the passing of time. It's about identity. It's about how we become who we are, but it's from a totally different angle. It's the analog angle. It's the pictures you know, that you lay on the floor. Mostly indie games, I've chosen to talk about uh, social issues and everyday uh, life problems. And this is, I think, re something really important for our media. We want to, to see what is really uh, everyday uh, life in a small town, what are the problems of uh, unemployment, so the alcoholism. A lot of the teenagers see those problems and they, of course, are, they have their own. Uh, they've got some social bullying, you've got some some violence also in the high school world. So all those problems and those social issues are very, very important and we want to have them in the game and to talk about them. You don't have anything smart to say now, do Get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. Those subjects will interest the player because there is really this, this will for, for something different. Square were basically the only publisher that didn't want to change a single thing about the game. We had other publishers telling us, make it a male lead character. And Square didn't even question that uh, once. It, it felt natural to have Max as a female character for this game. Max is a bit shy, but she's also a bit different. So we wanted for her to define the, the, the way she's moving. She's not all flashy like Chloe. She has more, more subtle movements. And for Chloe, on the other way, we, with the motion capture actress, we asked, we asked her to be much more like uh, dancing, moving. Max and Chloe are really different, but they're also opposite and complementary at the same, at the same way. So I, I think one, one is not good without the other. There will be, of course, progression and in the character arcs. And, won't spoil it, but we will see a lot of changes in, in both characters. I, I love Chloe. I like the way she interacts with Max and this kind of friend you have and you don't have your choice of life at all, but you can change yours. Favorite part in my job is when I feel, you know, everyone is working in the same direction. I have worked with the team at uh, clarifying and, and, and when I'm able to step out the studio's door and go to the publishers and basically speak in one voice, you know, nothing political. This is the great game that we're working on uh, together and it's crystal clear uh, where we're going.